Hi everybody, I'm Lindsay, welcome to Tap With Me. This is a kind of a, a dive in and try it video, which is designed to try and support you as part of your healing journey. I use EFT tapping, so it looks like this, we tap on a few acupoints on the body and we say some words, which if it's difficult for you to get privacy, you can say them in your head, if you can say them out loud, it can be more effective just in terms of we can get more into it. That's all we want, we want that energy and emphasis behind it, so you can say it in your head too. Um, if you want some privacy, go find a spot, bathroom, bedroom, whatever it is. Um, you don't need anything in particular, but if you feel like you might be having a good old cry, bring some tissues, if you want some water to sip, do that. And if you want a journal for popping down anything that comes up for you, grab those things now. Today we are going to be talking about the anus, things I never thought I'd say on video and do often these days. We're going to be talking about the anus when it feels blocked at that release point. And so... If you relate to this, um, this is a video that could help you to tune into what's going on for you, energetically speaking, because the anus is a point of release. Uh, it's a point of release for the waste in our body, and it's a point of release for our emotions. Emotions are energy in motion. They are designed to come in. They are all beautiful. They are all valuable. We want all of them. They give us feedback but we are not meant to hold on to them, and we do in so many ways. Sometimes because we're not consciously doing it, we just, we aren't even really aware. We've so learned to deny our emotions, we just don't even really know they're there. Sometimes because we don't know how to appropriately express them, we don't know how to feel safe, or we don't know where to go to um, get support to be heard effectively. So for lots of reasons, we end up holding these emotions, and they can show up as blockages in our body, including in the good old anus. So sometimes that is just like a feeling of being blocked, like we're not fully releasing when we're going for our number two. It's not fully releasing. It feels like something, you know, it's difficult to pass a stall or we haven't passed all the stall. It just doesn't feel like this great release point anymore. Um, and sometimes it's because we're very aware that there are piles there, there are hemorrhoids there and it can feel blocked where there's that swelling and it might feel painful, might feel very uncomfortable. And so on these Tap With Me videos, I do break down these topics and cover all of these things uh, separately and very specifically because that's the way that EFT tapping works the best. So this particular video is gonna be focused on that blocked feeling, okay? So the blocked feeling in the anus. So that's where I'm inviting you to tune into now. And notice how that feels in your body, either right now or any time that you're using this video in the future or generally speaking. I just want you to find that feeling in your body, that feeling blocked. OK, and notice if other thoughts are flooding into your awareness that are coming up for you. Just just welcome them because we want to bring this into the light. We want to bring this into the conscious so that we can begin to allow that emotion to move in the way it always wanted to. We never, we never wanted it to be held in our body. It's not where it serves its purpose. It brings us that information and we can really welcome that and thank it because it's showing up things, but we're not designed to hold on to it. But we, for lots of reasons, all do in different ways. And that's okay. We love and accept ourselves right where we are. Okay, that's... That's all our thing here. We're just going to love and appreciate exactly where we're at and uh, just keep on moving in the direction we want to head. So if you've tuned into that feeling of the blocked anus, we're now going to get tapping. OK, so it might be that you're, I know a lot of people use these videos when they're in the bathroom and it might be right in the moment. So you can do that, but you can also just find that feeling generally and do this several times through the day if you want to or just whenever it inspires you you can go back and follow this video so all we're going to do first of all is tap on this fleshy part of the hand underneath the little finger you don't need to hold your hands up i'm just showing you you can do either way you can swap you can tap the hands together we just want to stimulate the acupoints here okay now i'm quite a firm tapper it's not necessary it's just my nature you can just rub the points if you want we just want to stimulate those acupoints and when we're doing this, this is where we're we're finding acceptance. We're making peace with the problem. We're kind of making friends with our problem, really, um, because it's all information. It's all feedback. It's all helping us to grow and to learn. We don't like it. It's not comfortable and it's not fun. So we want to push it away and we want to make it the enemy. But 
just for this moment, we're going to just make friends with it and say, OK, I'm listening. And I appreciate that you're showing up and showing me these patterns and how I can grow and move beyond them. And it's a bit like a resetting uh, energy system. Imagine like you had some batteries, you had two AA batteries and one of them had got knocked knocked out and the, the circuit wasn't flowing. And we're just going to reset everything so the energy can flow, the yin-yang energy can flow around our body, our chi can move as it's supposed to, which goes all around our organs and everything in our body. Okay, so when we're doing this, we're gonna say th something three times. I'm gonna say it, you're gonna repeat it, and it's as simple as that, okay? So I just want you to say, even though I've got this blockage in my anus, I deeply and completely accept myself. Number two, <laughs> even though I've got this blockage in my anus, I deeply and completely accept myself. I mean, like three out of four people have piles, you know, and like we think of it as this secret shame that we're all going around with. Okay, last time, even though I have this blockage in my anus, I deeply and completely accept myself. It's normal. I don't want it there, but it's normal. And deeply and completely accept myself. Okay, good. Now we're gonna go around and we're gonna tap on a few points uh, that are gonna cover acupoints that basically cover the whole body's energy system by the time we've been over these few points. And we're gonna say some words or, or um, maybe do some deep sighing or some releasing in some with our sounds or our thoughts. And it's all just helping us to just release, to let go. And, and we're not trying to put anything new in, we're not trying to force anything or pushing anything. It's just inviting our body to be able to release, to process and let go of that emotion that we have blocked or been holding on to for some reason. That's it. Okay, so we're going to take a couple of fingers and just go up to the first point, which is the front of the eyebrow. And it can be either side, you can switch sides if you want to, whatever you like, okay? Okay, and I just want you to say, this pressure in my anus, this blocked feeling in my anus, this hard to poo blocked feeling in my anus. Good, now I want you to go on the side of the eye and you're gonna tap here and I can't let go. I can't release, I can't get it through. Good, under the eye here. I just can't seem to let it go. Good. and under the nose here there's this big release point and I don't know how to release Good. on the chin point all my emotions are getting dumped and stuck at this point good and you can go right over the collarbone this dumping spot this blocked dumping spot for my emotions. Good. And a flat hand under the arm like this. This blocked feeling, this stuck, stagnant, blocked, bunged up feeling I've got. Good. And on top of the head, you can do the flat hand or you can kind of do an uppy hand like that. It's about to be this blocked feeling. Okay doing so well so we're really tuned into it now and you know what the points are so you can relax and just follow along with me easily now because you know what I'm going to do okay so if I'm glancing down it's just because I've got a couple of my notes of things that I picked up when I was doing this work and I want to make sure I bring them in okay so tapping on the eyebrow I feel plugged up okay blocked stuck bunged up I'm holding on. I'm holding on. I don't know how to move forward. I'm stuck. I don't know how to release. 
to learn how to let go. I'm blocked. I'm stuck. I'm bunged up. I don't know how to move forward. I can't let go. I can't release. I can't let go. I can't release. And these things inside me, I don't know how to let go of. I don't know if it's safe to let them go. I don't think I can let them go. I just don't know how. I don't know how to let them go. I don't know what else to do. I don't know how to move forward. I don't know how to release. I don't know how to let go. I just feel stuck. I'm really frustrated. I just feel stuck and angry. In fact, I feel scared, frightened, worried. I just feel all bunged up. I feel blocked in my life. I don't know how to move forward. I feel stuck. I feel blocked. I feel all bunged up. I don't know how to let go. I don't know how to do it differently. I don't know how to move on. I don't know how to release. I feel so contracted. I feel tense. I feel stuck. I feel so held back. I feel blocked. I feel stuck. I feel held back and stuck. And there's just no point because this is how it is. I've no idea how to do it differently. And I feel really blocked and really stuck and I don't know how to let go. Okay, that's really good. Just take a break for a minute and a little shake out, a sip of water if you want one. It's not some magic reason you need to drink water. Just if you're thirsty or you use your voice a lot. Okay, I'm going to do another round now if you feel ready. Okay, tapping back here again. Just want to focus on this, even though I hold things in my body. I love and forgive myself. Even though I hold things in my body, I don't mean to, don't do it on purpose, but I know I do. And I love and forgive myself. Even though I hold things in my body, I don't know how else to do it. And I love and forgive myself. Good on the eyebrow, I hold things in my body. Hold things in my body, I hold things inside. I keep things inside. I deny things even to myself. I put on a mask, I put on a front and I hold things inside. I hold things inside. I hold on to them. I don't know how to do it differently. I hold things inside my body. I hold on to things. I'm holding on now. I'm always holding on. Trying to control things. And I'm blocked. I'm blocked. And I'm stuck. I'm stuck and I'm blocked and I'm holding on. And I'm just getting curious about what I'm holding on to. I really want to listen to myself about what I'm holding on to or what I'm holding on from doing. What am I holding on to or from? 
I'm just wondering now. I'm just getting curious. What am I holding on to today? How long have I been holding on to that thing? I'm just getting curious. What am I holding on to? What am I holding on from? What am I delaying? What am I putting off? What am I keeping myself stuck for? Why would I be blocking myself? I'm just noticing when I feel contracted, how I feel contracted, all the ways I feel blocked at the moment. And I'm just noticing the things I can't let go of. I just can't let go of. Good. One more way around, okay? Those things I can't let go of. I notice the emotions I can't let go of. Anger, grief, frustration, resentment, despair. I notice I just can't really let go of them. They just keep coming back. They keep coming back around. I am not able or willing to let go right now. These emotions that I just really can't let go of. I can acknowledge them. I can unblock them by not holding them inside my body. It's okay if they come back. <clears throat> I don't need to hold on to them. I don't need to do anything. Just hear them. I don't need to hold them. They can come back. I don't need to hold them. I don't need to hold them in my body. I'm willing to let go. I'm willing to let go. I'm willing to let go. I'm willing to release. I'm willing to let go. I'm willing to release. And I'm beginning to release with love when I'm ready. Thank you for joining me with that tap with me video. Uh, I hope you found it helpful. Do check out the other tap with me videos and just taking these topics finely tuned for you a little bit at a time, finding the ones that work for you. Notice where things are moving. So you might get signs of your energy moving physically. So sighs, yawns, crying. It might be that your emotions are quite stirred up. If you're doing this for the first time today, you might find something quite raw coming up. So hear yourself. You can journal, you can share with a friend. If you need to get in touch because you need an appointment, I'm here. We can do that for sure. But do check out the other videos as well. And I really hope I will see you soon. And I'm just sending you loads of love and healing intentions as you move through this. And um, I'll see you. Okay, bye.